Hello and welcome to School Ministry Gaming. Today I'm going to be playing more Death and Taxes, where I take the role of the Grim Reaper in an office of all places. Best newcomer presented to Grim Reaper for your contribution to killing to the killing of many humans. <laughs> Hilarious. Crow new social media star falls off cliff while taking a selfie. Sounds about right. Eco watch local shop population drops to a dangerous level. Are tasty creatures destined to go extinct? Grim. Ah, yes, there you are. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, now, listen up. Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately and all that. However, an emergency has occurred which requires my utmost attention and I must depart for a couple of days. What kind of emergency? Hmm. Okay, listen up and keep this to yourself. Right, I've been here barely a week and he's telling me what this emergency is and I can't tell anyone. Why is he telling me? Some philosophers and researchers are attempting to set up a utopian community for the betterment of humanity. Oh yeah. I must investigate their strategies for any flaws. I see. Anyway, <clears throat> while I am gone, another will be in charge. Oh. Even though you passed the evaluation, I cannot leave you without any supervision. You will have more freedom, sure, but it is not limitless. Right. Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports as usual. I will be informed of your progress. Who I report to? Why, you are already acquainted. It will be Lady Poddington, of course. <laughs> it's a cat. To report to a cat. That's how much they respect me. All alone, Reaper. Power at your fingertips. It's electrifying. On your own. You know why? Because they're setting you up. Oh. Why would they do that? Why indeed? Because you'll never be good enough. You don't have what it takes to succeed. You're a void. Right, this is getting a bit too real. I'm a nobody. What if I make a mistake? Burning at the stake. Drawn and quartered. Boiled and stuffed into a can. Tell me. Be seeing you. Oh, I missed that because I clicked it. Setting me up. Right, well, I missed one of the lines because I clicked it and I shouldn't have done, but there we go. Greetings from afar, Grim. So, right after I left, mere moments, it seems to me, something happened at the plant department. Do not ask. As such, I need you to fill in today. Bases are grim for them. I hope that is okay. Quote for day. Free shoe uh, plants have to die. Good luck, fate. After the. I have to do plants now. Ah, oh, there's a little baby pig. Spirit portal, join Mercury on the path of glory. A commune for those who seek the revelation. Where are the bees disappearing? Apparently that's true, apparently the bees are disappearing. Construction firm Screw Wosi and Co. Screw Wosi Co. And local environmental atmosphere in a stalemate of a new railway site. Weather report, windy and dry, days ahead. This plant is six. There's no quota I can do. Well, there is a quota, sorry. <laughs> I have to kill three plants, but it doesn't matter which ones I kill. Right, I've got a feeling that this will have more effect than I think it will. Because my first instinct is it's just plants, it won't make a difference, but it will, won't it? The, se the senior tree specimen has been growing on the outskirts of Cosmopolis City long before the place was ever founded. It has received five com commemorative plaques over its lifetime, all of which have been destroyed. Its habitat has been recently disturbed by ongoing building work. Okay, so if I kill that, that might stop the building work, right? I think that's important. I don't think Callie's so important. Dian, Dianier, 
A Venus flytrap is hidden in the grass next to a small patch of the local farm, honey farm. It almost got stepped on by a farmer, a dog, a horse and two children. It has good living conditions and plenty of food available every day. Hmm. Don't know if that will make a difference, but I put that there. Apocrisis protensis, also known as the meadow foxtail, is grass. I swear, if you have to make another farm by a blade of grass, I will quit. Right, well that doesn't seem important, does it? Cannabis stiver is an industrial hemp plant used for making clothes from its fiber. It's young yet growing rapidly due to the extreme amount of fresh organic fertilizer provided by its farmers. Also doesn't make a difference. Right, I think this is the only one that will make a difference. That'll stop the building work. Do I want the building work to continue? I'll say that I do. Keep that one alive. Now I've got an answer to the cat. Hey Puss Puss. The cat sits behind the table, very serious and official like, ignoring your presence. Oh my god, you're just incredibly cute and fluffy. Cough politely. So, wake up cat, I'm supposed to report to you. I feel like this cat's going to be smarter than you think it is. So, I'm just going to cough politely, I think. <clears throat> Cat turns her head towards you, staring at her with one open eye. <coughs> Meow, she mutters, then places a paw upon some documents littering the table. The cat repeats the sequence of contended meows. She then curls back into the wall and closes her eyes. Well, that was very useful. Okay, so is it going to be like this every day? Okay, so it's going to be like this every day? <laughs> like, what do I say? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I feel like this cat is got to be smarter than it seems Well, that was useful Cat stares at you blinking and proceeds to ignore your presence Meow she glares as you make your way out to uh, out the door Ears of the beast a pair of cat ears were really nice on me and inspire all the felines of the world Just don't talk or even think about the film the of the miracle. I'm not buying cat ears. It's a widget, it's a cactus. I think maybe widget is just everything that's just items. Yeah, I'm not the last about getting a cactus. Psst. Hey, we don't like what we see. It's suspicious. Oh yeah. I'm a suspicious reaper at heart, you know. That yeah, yeah, we know the heartbeat. Even if it no longer beats. What a wreck. Listen to us, Reaper, not the others. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. To me! Shh. They're probably eavesdropping right now. Let's be on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but there we are. Oh, thank God I'm back to killing humans. <laughs> Morning, Grim. All right, we are back to normal. The plant department got their act together. You, however, should be intimately familiar with the drill by now. We mitigate chaos, we bolster order, etc. Quarter of the day, two humans have to die. Let us balance the world fate. Shu and Co. compromise their Bertin Railway away from the treasured national tree and promise to be here to environmental sandwich. Hmm. Maybe I should have killed the um, the national symbol after all. Although Christopher is amazingly graceful ballet dancer, they have secretly orchestrated snap tendons and cracked ankles for their rivals. This is sure they will get ahead of the game. They were banished from home when they were 16 because their parents were scared and confused about Christopher's sexual orientation. Okay, so he's gay and his parents didn't like it. Um, and he's a psychopath who 
orchestrates the snapping of tendons and cracked ankles. Right, okay. Raking leaves is hard, blowing them around as a leaf blower is more fun. This is why Brian takes care of the leaves exclusively with a leaf blower. Starting already at 6 in the morning, the toxic fumes and fumigates don't concern them one bit. Other friend tells a full time cashier as they've embraced the grind with a will of steel. Their beacon in the dance is space exploration. Renfeld supports every act taken towards space and they even take cosmology fast astronomy classes in the community college with hope one day contributing to the course. Going to space. Hmm. Kefir is strict to start with a strong belief in hard work and that they've done enough of it to last a lifetime. They have a loving spouse and an estranged child. Their hold of their romantic inclination can be thought about beating those thoughts out of the stick but ended with banishing the kid from home instead. Wait a minute here. When the heir told their romantic inclination, Gooey thought about beating those fours out of a stick, but ended up bashing, banishing the kid for a moment instead. Is Christopher Pitt the son of this guy, Ken Fear Anward? Did he change his name when he left home? Well, he's a psychopath, he's horrible to his son, and these are just two randomers. Um, well, he's 46, so he can die. Um, just because he's the oldest. And then I guess. I gotta keep the psychopath alive because I wanna see what happens. So. Space exploration. I wanna see if there's anything more. You know, space exploration. They can die because they, then they won't stop if there's another asteroid. I want to cause chaos, basically, is what I'm saying. you haven't taken yet they keep doing odd self-destructive things they should definitely slow down otherwise the phrase plenty of fish in the sea will age like milk left out into the sun mm. the stench of poisonous rot slowly creeps into the air a warning to heed yeah, I don't... I'm really not sure what's going on here. Hey, watch your step. The world is crumbling under your feet. You'll soon be the king of dust and rubble. <laughs> it's not my fault how humans handle their lives. People should just stop being poor, right? That's not... Stop being uneducated and uncultured. Start a savings account. All that jazz. Right, that's... Scarcity creeps ever closer. That is the kingdom you rule. Think of it as a warning. I mean, but I actually want to cause chaos, though, so... As you enter the room, the cat's paces around the table as if annoyed and irritated. What? Meow, the cat notes while Kazu turning around the spot, purring at the table. I take this to mean that I'm doing well. I take this to mean that I'm doing well. The cat carelessly, stre carelessly stretches and shakes herself, seeming more or less pleased. A shift nod towards the door of her head makes clear she'll be leaving. Bloody cat. Lefty and Obliviate. The Lefty and Obliviate is used to remove gracious mistakes, meaning it raises whichever mark you made on the profile. One use only. That could be useful. Look at the march of death. Bones of the living ground into dust. A dust storm that suffocates any remaining breaths. 
fertilizer for the new. Ew. Come on, Grim. That's disgusting. That's life. Don't you think this whole business is remarkably dehumanizing? I'm a skeleton. An uncaring office of eternal bureaucracy. Picking and choosing lives. Sounds about right. It's efficient, I'll give it that. What makes you think you're know that they are getting it right? Throwing out innumerable rules and quotas with no oversight whatsoever. Mmm, tasty carnage. Throw not the flesh of the common people into the gears of agony. Let us know if you come eye to eye with a solution. I'm seeing you. One is bright red. Okay. Morning, Grim. My, your hands will be kept mighty busy today. What the darn have been up to at your... What the darn have you been up to over at the office? From what I can see, the data, it looks like a proper mess. Quote of the day. I've been doing what you've said, okay? Quote of the day. A total of seven humans after die. At least two humans with a religious background after die. Spare any retired person if possible. Well, no time to waste. Get thee to it, fate. Michael has been... Ma Mikat? Has been a dedicated worker at the... Okay, Grim. Yes, you. Listen up. Why are you such a tool? Sitting at your desk going all over all the panels like... Like a mindless drone. It's time to break the rules. I want you to doom all the profiles today. All of them. Prove you're not completely useless. Ugh. Oh, I'm going to try it. The sound of the cat, the sound coming out of the cat is peculiar hissed, meow. Yes, lady, I concur. Grim, your behaviour is utterly unacceptable. You cannot continue marking every person to death. You have led us to the slope of complete annihilation. This is your third and final warning. It's my only warning! If you choose to disobey my orders again, I will be forced to terminate you. Contract. Do not presume this is a jest. Get out and do your job properly. Though growl the cat feels threatening. Well, I'm pretty sure that was my only warning. The infernal illuminate reveals what is deeply hidden. Once you've already made the choice and you're passing through again, else it can can't show you much of anything. Because that's how things work, okay? Feels what we should most take the hidden once you've already made the choices and are passing through again. Might be useful. I don't really understand what that is actually supposed to show me. It's just showing the same symbols for all of them, so yeah, I, I, I might have been ripped off. The cat seems to be in slumber, occasionally emanating a snuff, snore like purr. Puss the kitty cat, time for the review. It's probably the best option out of those. After a pause, cat publicity sniffs the usual pile of documents waiting on the table. 
The cat continues inspecting documents for a few seconds, then turns away, seeming pleased. Hey, can I ask you some questions instead? The cat stares at you, slowly blinking. What do you think of fate? Meow meow. The cat moats ridiculously. She blinks at you, perplexed. Well, what do you think of death? The cat shakes herself in a manner which seems entirely indecipherable. She blinks at you, perplexed. What do you think of the common systems of taxation? <laughs> meow, the cat meows. I can't tell if the cat is generally more intelligent than she, than she seems to be. Or if it's just a cat. The face of the great god, the great old one. Well, seriously, terror-inducing visage. But then again, you wouldn't want to look like an antediluvian monstrosity. Who wouldn't want to look like an antediluvian monstrosity? Size so tentacles are extremely useful and practical. I might get the tentacles when I can afford it. I need a hundred more. Has a cat been on my desk? Wait, what? That's Greek, isn't it? Lucky day, or is it? Ah, the unjustly deintegrated and lucky number 13. I fail to see the relevance of this kind of numerology. It is a, it is but a day, like all the others. Quarter for the day, a tale of three humans have to, total of three humans have to die. Humans in the field of religion have to die. Spare any humans with an artistic background. Enjoy your pleasant work day, fate. Um, what? Where are my papers? Ah, uh, what? Must have been that damn cat. Where? <laughs> what? <laughs> So I have to end the day. What else can I do? The cat lounges on the table, brushing away of a paw. Um, would you happen to know what happens to my files? The cat paws for him and continues brushing herself in different confusion. Did you do something with them? Before the cat has a chance to respond, the phone rings in earpiece and metallic clatter. that you hear a familiar voice. Hello? Hello? Lady Poddington, is Grim there? <laughs> the cat! Meow! The cat replies absentmindedly. Oh, Grim, I heard that. I understand the job can be stressful. That these decisions do not come like. Someone nicked them! It was but the cat! You cannot let everybody live. Such actions will have serious consequences, even if you cannot foresee them. That is what I am for. Trust me, it will be for the benefit of everyone. Understood? Something happened to the files, they were gone. What? Could you repeat that? All I hear is static. I said the cat stole the files. No matter. You know what the job is. <laughs> the cat is sabotaging me! The cat stole my files! I've been sabotaged by the cat. Real nice cat. Alas, the cat's already fallen asleep. She purrs contented. Nothing else to do but leave. You fucking cat! Thank you very much for watching. If you want to find out more about Pennyvale Media, you can do so at www.pennyvalemedia.com. Otherwise, watch another video or become one of the schools.